Okay, this is super precarious. Um, <laughs> but that's okay. Live from New York, it's your worst nightmare. Hey, sis, how are you doing? I am in New York right now. I'm in the apartment of my friends because if there's anything I love more than makeup, it is mooching off of the kindness of others. <laughs> so I was out at a friend's place and then I got a, uh, moderate to severe headache so I came home and no one else is here so I decided to make a quick little uh, video film for you guys in which I outline the very quick travel friendly makeup that I tend to do whenever I am away from my home and can't spend an hour at my desk with my vanity and my whole setup and my whole arsenal of cosmetic products. This is a tutorial that we'll use one eyeshadow palette three brushes, maybe. I've also done this exact thing with just my little digits here. Um, my mascara that I'm already wearing, because like I said, I was out already doing stuff today, and then my head was like, nope, two cheek products, and like one lip. It's very simple, it's very easy. Let's get into it. I swear to you, this is what I do. Every single time, everyone's like, hey, let's go out into the bowels of Brooklyn and like be cute and break hearts and snap necks and I'm like all right now exactly what I need to do my bra straps are on display because if they wouldn't let's just say we'd be taking the downtown train because <laughs> I'm in Brooklyn okay so basically what I'm gonna be using today is my favorite palette to bring with me when I'm traveling it is the BH Cosmetics and It's My Ray Ray collaboration palette uh, if you have this palette or have seen it before you may know that mine is a bit different from how they generally look and it's because this palette actually comes with a face palette with three highlighters and three contour colors. And I took one look at that face palette and I was like, unnecessary. And I cut it off, literally. The jagged edge of my palette where I sliced off the face palette with a razor blade and then painted over it with a nail polish. I like to bring this palette traveling because it's so skinny. She's a real skinny legend and I love her for it. But it has everything I need to do a fairly complete, like cute little going out look. We have our deep matte shades. It can get a little smoky. There's a black shade. I should probably hold it up as I say all this. You know what I'm actually freaking talking about. Okay. And we've got this gorgeous row of very like wet to the touch dimethicone shimmers and like like I love that for me. Awful swatches. I'm going to start by deepening up my crease and to do that I'm going to use this sort of like cool taupe brown shade called Midnight. Honestly half the time I do this I literally don't use a brush. I just tilt my finger so that I'm only getting the tip of it on my crease and I get the exact same effect. It literally doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> Whenever I'm like visiting my friends here in New York, I'm always like very milk makeup, like ephemeral club kid. I'm just like, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pin on with my fingers and like sweat it off dancing the night away. I said this was simple and I meant it. We're gonna use like a single other color, freaking maybe. I'm going to take this maroon, that's not maroon, it is maroon, grape berry? color shade Friday right here. And I'm actually, I am going to use my finger for this because uh, rules are meant to be broken. And I'm gonna put this basically all over the rest of my lid. And for this, not that it matters since I'm gross, um, I use my index finger. I did wash my hands right before I did this because I had to wash all of the uh, hot fry dust off of them. So literally I'm basically done. What I generally do is I will dip into this beautiful shade right here, Tiffany. Rosy bronze moment and I will use a finer brush. This I would usually use a brush for. The brush I have is not what I thought I was getting. This is the brush that came in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette but it's thin and fine and it'll work for this. So I take a little bit of Tiffany on my brush and I just like dot her in there and I blend it out and then up so the sparkles kind of disperse into the matte. I think people don't give a lot of credit to how well you can like blend a shimmer shade into a matte. It doesn't always have to be like shimmers on a cut crease and then matte smoked out on the brow bone. You can have them like together on the lid. Um, I think it looks really cute, you just have to make sure there's not like a super harsh line between them. Or, you know what, put a harsh line. You know, it doesn't matter. There are so many rules to make up <clears throat> that were literally made up, like every other rule. Don't stand on the grass, <laughs> says who? The grass police, don't rob people, says who? The money police, I'm literally staying like a goblin right now. Let me show you. Like I'm literally 
<laughs> goblining so hardcore right now. I'm honestly a huge fan of it. I truly love that for me. <laughs> if I want to feel super fancy, I'll probably use the same brush that the inner printer with, dip into this deep grape shade right here called Connie and put that on the other lash line. And like smoke it up towards where I've blown out the transition from earlier. If I have time, like if the Uber is not here yet, lol New York City life, I will take a fluffier brush and I will dip into Friday and Midnight, which is the brown that I transitioned with. Tap off any excess because these shadows don't have a ton of kick up, but if you really dig in, you will get it. And then I'll like go across the crease and make sure they're like blended together. I won't go all the way in, but I'll really focus it on like the deepest part of the crease. Literally, the next step would be putting on mascara, but life hack, if you're gross and don't take off your makeup between things you do in the day, your mascara is already on, sis. I am going to put a little bit more mascara on just for the hell of it, you know? My favorite of all time, Essence slash Princess Full Slash Effect, you know it, you love it. Unless you hate it, which is fine. It's a very goopy, controversial mascara. But I'm a very goopy, controversial person, so <laughs> we work well together. Um, if you were complaining about not being able to count all of the rods and stems in my cornea, like, you're welcome. How close am I? My god. The next step is cheeks. I said there would be two cheek products, and I freaking meant it, lads. For blush, I'm going to use my Ulta Beauty Lip and Cheek Color Stick in the shade Mauves, which is so funny. I don't know why it's plural, but it brings me immense joy. Blend out with the fingers because we are a super casual Glossier gal. <laughs> I actually went to the Glossier showroom yesterday and there was a line wrapping halfway down the block outside of it. And I was like, if these people think that I'm going to wait in line for a half hour just to enter the hallowed halls of the Glossier showroom on Lafayette Avenue, they're exactly right. No, hell no, I didn't wait in that line. God, you were so pranked right now. I'm being really annoying in this video. I think it's because I'm gone off them ibuprofens right now for my headache, so like I'm just loop de loop zooted. Um, a second cheek product is a little bit of a glow. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the shade Mars. <laughs> it's not hollow. Uh, and I'm not the one, so. I don't want to see that in my friggin' comments. Actually, you guys are cool. I doubt I'd get any of those. Cool. I look even greasier, and that's the goal, because we are uh, a fun, casual club kid, and that's what we need to look like. The final thing, lips. I've been really loving the Black Radiance Perfect Tone Gloss. It's a cheap little lip gloss, so the label's rubbing off, but I have the shade. I have no idea. I don't know what this is called. Uh, okay. Well, uh, if you're ever in a Walgreens and you walk by the Black Radiance display, it's this one. It's like a fun little like rosy gold, but it comes across so sheer. It's great if you've got like a semi-dramatic eye look. It's a very comfortable moisturizing gloss. I'm actually a massive fan of it and I bought it on a complete impulse. So this is my lightning fast five or so minute makeup from when I go out while I'm traveling. One palette, two cheek products, a mascara. I use a brow gel, but I'm already wearing it. A single lip gloss. It's very fast, it's very easy. Does it look amazing? It does if I stand all the way over here. Light pack. Uh, I know my content is a freaking disaster right now. It's cause so am I. <laughs> my life is very weird at this moment in time and I'm trying to acclimatize to that and like manifest acceptance and bravery. So this is my attempt to do that. Before you leave, I'm gonna need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be glorious. And please consider scram scrabbling to my channel. Thanks again for watching. That's a New York way to say goodbye. Oh my God, the G train is so delayed right now. It's ridiculous. What do you mean the E's running on the F line? You mean there's no downtown trains from this station? Oh, oh my God. I know how it's spelled. It's pronounced Houston.